Well, you guys didn't know this movie was coming out. Don't worry, neither did anyone else. But I watched it, so let's review it. Collide. So Collide is directed by, to be honest with you, I don't know who directed this movie. But it stars Nicholas Holt and Felicity Jones. Nicholas Holt is ultimately a reformed car thief. He used to work for a really shady crime, well not quite boss, like crime middle guy. Played by Ben Kingsley, then he meets Felicity Jones, they form a relationship, he's out, he's no longer in that life of crime, then Felicity Jones needs a kidney transplant, he doesn't have the money, so he's like, all right, I'll do another job for Ben Kingsley. The job goes wrong, and now the tangled web of crime. And what is supposed to be a fun stylistic crime thriller thing. Alright, let's get this out of the way right now. This movie is not good. It's not good, it's not great, it's completely unfocused. This movie doesn't know what it wants to focus on. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's tonally unbalanced plot-wise and characters. First of all, I like Ben Kingsley. I'm gonna get that out of the way right now. Ben Kingsley's character completely worked. He's really super shady and really eccentric and Ben Kingsley plays those weird characters well and I feel like he worked for the middleman that he actually is. Anthony Hopkins in the movie though, Anthony Hopkins is the unbalanced one because Anthony Hopkins would have been great as the really stoic, scary businessman that will wipe out your entire family without batting an eye. Which he is for half of his performance, and then the other half, he's kind of like a Ben Kingsley ripoff. He's also kind of an eccentric, crazy mob boss, and he shouldn't be that. Not only is it completely different than his other half of his persona, but you already have that. You already have the crazy, eccentric, old dude in the movie. Why do you need another one? Worked for Ben Kingsley's character, not so much Anthony Hopkins' character. And if we're staying on Anthony Hopkins' character, for a little bit, it always irritates me when these head crime bosses go out there and get their hands dirty. They, they wouldn't do that. That's how crime bosses don't get caught, is they don't have their hands dirty out there. They're not out there killing people. They have goons that are there for that. Your goons will take care of it. Use your goons well. And he kind of does until Anthony Hopkins goes out there and shoots people and you're like, why, why are you doing that? You're just setting yourself up to fail, man. You're setting yourself up to get caught. We live in a technological wonderland of cameras and cell phones, man, you are one step away from rotting behind bars forever. That's basically what this movie is. It's like it does stylistic shit because the person who made the movie thought it would be cool to do that, but really it makes no sense. If you use any logic or reason while watching this movie, the movie's just gonna unravel and fall apart. If you wanna stop your brain from doing that, I feel like you can watch this movie and enjoy it. But again, if you start using your brain, it's gonna fall apart. I'm not saying you should or should not do that. I'm saying that's the information. Do with it what you will. Watch the movie if you want to, but now you know how you have to watch the movie. There are some pretty sweet car chases in this movie, though. I will give the movie that. Car chases and hits. There's a couple times this car will just hit a concrete something, flip over itself, and smash into something else. I was like, all right, this is actually really entertaining. Way more entertaining than this movie is actually setting up to be. And so many times, so many times. All right, this is the part when I said, if you use your brain, the movie's gonna unravel. It's moments like this. So many times, Nicholas Holt is being shot at while he's in a car or he's on foot running. And I'm like, that dude is dead. He is Swiss cheese. Nope, he made it through. Not a scratch on him. A couple of times I was like, these cars have bulletproof glass. That's how he's living through this, right? Nope, then the glass shatters. You're like, I'm not, no, not bulletproof glass. Dude is just dodging bullets bullets by sitting there in a car. Amazing. Guys, in the end, Collide is absurd, and there's a part of me that says there's enjoyment to be had in this movie. Whether it be Ben Kingsley's eccentric performance, or the fun chases that happen in the movie, it's just everything else built around the movie is not so good. I was going to say this movie's a good time if you're drunk because of that, but then I started thinking about it, I was like, I feel like if you drink and then watch this movie, you're just gonna get bored and fall asleep. So I gotta say, Collide, you're not gonna remember this one in T-1 day. Yep, already forgot. All right, guys, you're not gonna see Collide. Let's be honest here. So I'll ask you, what's a surprisingly good crime movie or heist movie you thought was gonna suck, but you actually enjoyed? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.